uh, I'm excited about uh, the situation right now because whatever I learned right now, you know, should I learn about this? The, when the first day I join or, or if I know that knowledge I learned today, right, I think it would be better. But I'm excited because I know that uh, next 30 years, this is what I believe, um, the AI, artificial intelligence, the big data is going gonna, is gonna to rule the world. Uh, whatever our new generation is learning right now, whatever they learn in school may not apply next 30 years. I think Steve and you and I will be okay. But I, I think that there's going to be massive layoff going on. Yeah. Right? So where they, they got to become entrepreneur. And we as a company, WFG, we got to be better as well. Right? So, so but WFG is not operated by Aegon or Transmaker. It's operated by people like you and me. We are all entrepreneurs. So. Okay. How about your favorite client story? Um, my favorite client story is actually the sad one and the good one uh, and the happy one. I have a I have a I have an Asian that who actually um, who worked with me. He was a singer guy. And uh, when I recruited him, I was very young in the business. I went to his home, right? It was a referral. He showed up to the BP, uh, BP, uh, the business business presentation meeting, and he have a flower here so that we can know each other. So after the business presentation, he said he filled out the survey card, and then I said I'm going to see you seven o'clock at night. He said why? I said no, I need to talk to you a little bit more. So I went to his home. I remember the fan was so loud. And I keep talking and keep, keep talking, right? I was very, very new. I, 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 I tried to recruit this person as much as I could. I give up as much information as I could. And then he, after that, then he said, what do you want, Penny? I said, I want your $100 to fill out the AMA. <laughs> uh, then he said, okay. And then he signed and he said, then later on he told me, I just want to get rid of you, so I pay $100. <laughs> but he was the one who actually, that I took him out few training. I was new, he was new. So he was very, very skeptical. He was one of the controllers for a high-tech company. So he, will, he doesn't believe what we say. He, will go to the library. he went to the library to get all the book to research about all the life insurance. And then, he get, then he, once he convened, then we go out door by door, right, to all his friends. So, and then, and then he started expanding his business in uh, Chicago. Then he started talking about the opportunity. And because of this platform that he's starting to see what we do to people, and, and then he started buying life insurance. Because he, he never think that he need life insurance. Because he's single. He, he never want to get married. So, well, but then at the age of 30, 34, 30, 35, he got into the uh, leukemia. Mm. So he thought he had bank, uh, bank, bank, is it bankitis? How do you say it? Uh, bronchitis. Bronchitis, right? But end up it's a, a leukemia. So he said that Penny, I'm going to have a I'm going to have a chemotherapy tomorrow, right? So make sure that you took a picture of me at the hospital so I can I can tell people that this is such a, a great opportunity. Even I, I I I'm sick in a in a in a hospital, I still have passive income, right? But he did not make it. He passed away. So when he passed away at that year. He have a, his two brothers, his, his, uh, uh, his sister and brother got laid off. And his parents is aging right now. So we, we, we found out that they don't have enough. Mm. If he never joined the BFG, the money that the insurance product that he has, the, the, the debt balance that proceed that he has, be able to let the brother and sister take over the, the mother. That is the most rewarding thing. Wow. You will never think that he, you, he, he some, if he never joined the BFG, but he, he, I believe that when people die because of the date, the due date is come. That's what I believe. People die because of the due date. Every single one on earth has a due date, right? But if he died without joining the BFG, he would never have, he would never have what he have today. Uh, and then let's talk about the happy customer, <laughs> right? Uh, when I joined this business, me, I'm the best customer that you can talk about. I never believe in cash value life insurance because I, my, I study finance, so we buy term investor different. I would never think that this life insurance, also that my husband have a whole life, so in case something happened forever, but I think if I die, it's okay. That's what I thought, right? But anyway, 
and but buying by by knowing and I remember that they came to my home, they asked me, When do you going to become financially independent? I said, Tomorrow. He said, Okay, do you have enough money? No. So apparently it's just don't 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 make a, your future as a joke. I remember the trainer told me that. You gotta know your number. I said, Okay, I want to I want to become financially independent at forty. Right? He said, Okay, then they do the calculation. And then he said, how much money? I want to have 10000 per month passive income. So I remember they told me $2,000, uh, $2 million, $2 million portfolio you need to have at your 40. And I remember they told me that you need to save $4,000 per month in a life insurance product because that they have tax deferred and tax advantage feature. If not, I put it in mutual fund about $8,000. $4,000 looked good, <laughs> but I did not even have $4,000 after tax money, right? After uh, you bring home. And I remember that I opened a $500 account. $200 for me and $300 for my husband. Before I actually had my signature on and I look at the trainer, I say, I, but I can, can I really afford it? Maybe I started, maybe we start $100 for each, rather than $500. And then I remember the trainer say that, why do you buy this home? How much is this home payment uh, worth? $1,500 a month, mortgage payment. He said that if you cannot pay $500, right? Why? Because that you might get laid off, right? Your husband get laid off, whatever. If you get laid off, you might lose a home too. Right? But you have been at home for about last five years, you're okay. Right? If you think about that, if you think about what if I get laid off, you will never have a home. Then I decided, hmm, he's right. Steve, I became wealthy that day. I became wealthy the minute I commit myself to put $500. Right now, the account that we have right now, and I hope that I don't brag about how much money I have in my account. That account that we have right now is no longer $500. We funded millions per year. Right? And then, and then all the tax advantage that I, I never know about, right? because I never know about life, uh, insurance. I thought insurance is a cost. I never know that insurance is a, is a value to bring into the... So the rich become richer because they know all the tax planning and the poor doesn't. So, uh, so that's the reason why that I have a lot of customers because I am the best customer. I can show you my example and I show what, what I have today, right? So I love what we do for customers. There's many uh, examples we can, we can have, especially when they write a letter to you, say that, well, I want to let you know how much we appreciate you. I hope, I hope your daughter say, I know that because as a family, we do. Right. That's great. Well, what about the culture of the company? How do you, do you, WFG is a very unique culture. I mean, as you know, I've worked with lots of companies all over, yeah. all over corporate America, and I've never seen a culture like WFG. How, to, to, for someone that's never really seen the big picture with WFG's culture, how would you explain it? I think that when you first came in, to uh, the business, uh, I always believe that uh, just like when you, when you, when you, when I come to this home, I can wear shoe, because culture of American that you can wear shoe at home. When you go into uh, when you go into uh, Asian home, usually you have to take off the shoe. Uh, it's not who is better and who is not good, whatever. Same in the BFG also. Uh, the BFG culture is a very unique culture whereby. You work as a uh, tribe. Uh, you work as a team. So the team culture is very different than individual culture. So that if you are new in the business, that you should sit down with all the trainer to show them why that we do what we do. Like for example, uh, when people came to my office, I have a wall. I have a welcome uh, words. Then I have different languages because I believe because that I show them. My whole world is all the uh, world map. I say we came from all different culture, right? And one thing good about this, right? Because that because we are came from different culture, and then doesn't matter whether you're Asian, American, African American, or Filipino or Vietnamese, we work together as a team, right? And then we show you, we show you the picture, the the history of Transamerica, and we show you who that we associate with. So for new people that I think as a trainer for us, we got to be able to show them in detail. And the most important thing, one of the world that I, I, I like to show people is that who that we, what we believe, what we stand for, right? Um, so our philosophy, our integrity, our performance value, 
So I think that people say that if you compare WFG, then traditional industry where you clock in and clock out, that's totally different. So for me, that culture has to be different than where they came from. Uh, if they still stay in the same culture, then they will have the same result. Sure. If they come to a different culture, there's different result. So then the question is, are you objecting the culture for the sake of objecting the culture? Or what is the objective when you join this business? If the culture can make you become successful and help more people, why not? Because apparently, the, the, the other culture doesn't have the exponential growth that the way we have. Because for me, that by the end of the day, it's not about, it's people are more important in the BFG than anything else. That is our culture. What about the opportunity? What, what do you think makes the WFG opportunity so unique? WFG is a fair level playing field. Uh, if you know that we are the, uh, we, have the, we are the number one, have the most uh, female representative, right, in the whole security industry, TFA, we have the most female representative compared to other broker dealers. Right, that you cannot get it in the traditional industry, uh, number one. Number two also, the opportunity that you, you can offer is to a part-timer, right? Financial, the other financial industry cannot have that. Number two also, you have the leadership that still engage after 20, 30 years, right? Rich, Dolly, Swan, Monty, Home, and Malet, every single one of them is still around. You don't have that, we have that. And right now, this is my 24 year, and I still have another, another, another 30, 40 years to go. I'm excited about this. <laughs> well, what's your favorite rags to riches story in WFG? Besides your own, of course. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, what, the... Yeah, rags to riches, someone that comes uh, uh, from nothing and becomes very successful. Yeah, I, 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 you heard about, I, I, like the, I like the story about the... In fact, uh, my, my own team or other team? On, say on your team. On my team. Uh, um, I know you mentioned a few of them. Yeah, I, I yeah. mentioned Jackie. I mentioned I mentioned I mentioned I, I mentioned, uh, I mentioned, um, I mentioned um, uh, Connie Chen, right? Right. From no, mm -hmm. nothing. But also, I, I want to mention somebody who actually, when you say wealthy, you know, uh, is actually financially independent. The definition of wealthy is is, is uh, can be defined by. I think that somebody like uh, like uh, one of my uh, teammates, right? I will make fun of uh, him. He was the first teammate that I joined at the same time, and he knew more than I do. So he liked me as a friend. He said that you are my leader, but you are not my boss. So don't boss me around. Don't push me, right? <laughs> always there, but he's always there, right? So and he also said that I cannot work as hard as you. Right? It's because you are a workaholic. I'm not. But I love this company. I want to help people. So he may not be a super duper producer, but he had been making good six feet, six feet income for many years. Right? So when I look at him, I say that if he still stay in his engineer, engineering industry, he will get laid off a thousand times already. And here he, here he is. After 24 years, he's financial independent because he had passive income start coming in. And also you think about my upline leader, right? Steven Chen, who came in, I think the last time that, I think right now, I, I, he should be able to close about 1.5 or $2 million passive income. For you to have that, right? And also which company, he came in here, he's an he's a engineer for a high-tech semiconductor company. Right, how many semiconductor company engineer can have a job forever. Who is going to pay $1.5 million passive income? Sure. And it's growing. As I grow, he's, he continues growing. Right. Yeah, so. Well, what would you say is the most misunderstood aspect of the WFG opportunity? I think that they think that, just like you say that, they think that we are another multi-level marketing. Uh, we are another deal out there who's going to, who's going to uh, hit and run, you know? Uh, but we have been here. I think today, as we speak, this topic a little bit easier right now. Uh, number one, we have Transmaker uh, Aegon behind us, 
who's a very strong organization, who will not buy, who will not acquire World Financial Group if you're not good, who will not going through all those research without they buying us. Um, so I don't think I don't I I think that people think that we are another network marketing, and for me that. I never joined any network marketing before, <laughs> so I do not know what's you. I just heard a lot of people say that, uh, but I do know that uh, we have recruiting factor in WFG. Uh, we have, uh, we have, uh, we have, we don't have quota. Uh, we have a replacement system, right? You cannot buy for yourself. You have to buy from the upline. Uh, you have a replacement, meaning that after you become SMD, that you have to give one leg away. That is all the key element of World Financial Group. This is why we become who we are, and we're going to stay very, very long, right? And people, people always think that all the good thing that we have become a bad thing, but we understand because it's a competition, right? So, so it is okay at all. It is okay, but I just think that people need to know more about what we are. And then maybe when you want to analyze, I usually tell people when you want to analyze us. Why don't you analyze us in and out? Like I have a cardiology chief of staff, a hospital. So he, she, he came in a very skeptical. I, I always make fun of him. I say that uh, when he came in, he was just like, you know, very doctor-ish. You know, he wanted to, but he's a good friend of, of one of my um, agents. So he come in, he wanted to learn. So he come into our financial classes. He loved it. He took him for one year. And, and, then, and then I asked him and I said that, Doctor, right? What do you learn from us? He said, "I learn a lot of things from you." I said, "What do you learn?" Uh, I learn how do you rah rah. <laughs> I said, "Why?" He said, "Well, he said that well, I learn a lot of things from you, but one of the things that I learn how do you inspire people? Because when I host my meeting at the hospital, all the physician, my meeting is very boring. I do not know how to inspire them. From from the ERG, I learn how to do that." Number two also, he said that I learned about finance more than I thought I learned. That's a lot of things. I, I start knowing that I do not know what I do not know. I thought I was good because I'm, I'm a very good investor until I came to the VFG. So I will yeah. wait until he became CEO and let him talk. Right? And I, I think coming from him, and he, you know that as a chief of staff, cardiology, and he, he is financially he is very, very strong. And lastly, I think he, he shared about that last, last uh, he said that uh, his kids is actually our doctor and dentist and also the high tech, is that, uh, high, one of our high tech uh, a specialty. And then he said that nobody want to take over my business because none of them are cardiologists. Mm. So there's no legacy can pass through my kids. I think for WFG that we, I, whatever I do, my daughter can do whatever she wants to do. When she's ready, the business can be belong to her. Sure. How about in terms of, um, you know, if someone's just right on the fence, they're watching this right now, they're right on the fence, uh, whether they should go forward or not, any additional thoughts you would like to share with that person? I always say that two things. Number one, uh, if, they, if, they, if they listen to this video, hopefully that don't get impressed by anything I say. Uh, don't, because it's not, it's not about well or anything. It's not important to people who are watching this right now. I think if I, can, if I can accomplish one thing today, I hope that I make sense, right? Number one. Number two also that then you look at yourself, right? Just like when I look at this business 24 years ago, I say that they are federal and state regulated. At least they look legit, right? And plus right now that they are already 30 over years already. And Aegon is an over 100 years company. They're legit, right? And then Penny makes sense right now. The most important thing, I look at myself right now, right? The one that on the fan right now, do I have anything to lose? Right? I don't have any other choice. This may be the last opportunity I have presented to me. If I say no, may not be another one come along. Right? That's what I ask myself. That's what I, after I, list, I, after I went to the business presentation meeting, and then this is what I told myself, what do I have to lose? If, this, they, if they really want to scam me, I have no much for them to scam anyway. <laughs> right, right, right. 
Is there, is there any one question that you wish I would have asked you that you want to, that you'd like to address? No, I think you did a good job. I, I, I think maybe that you can ask me, what do I see the BFG in the future? I think the best of us yet to come. And what do, what do you see for WFG in the future? What, what does that look like? I mean, you're so far, you know, you're, you're one of the top people in the company. You're, you know, you have access to so much information. What do you see? How, what's the future of WFG? I think the BFG in the future is going to be, I, w I would like to see our company has a platform like uh, uh, Amazon. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we, we should be able to be a lot of things that, you know, I think that, Technology is going to help us to grow. Uh, we're going to have more, uh, more uh, uh, solution for consumer out there, besides only investment insurance, right? Uh, we we believe that we can handle all the financial solution in the family, and also that we will be able to have a lot of millennial came in to help us to expand into a territory that me. Uh, do not have a chance to learn before, and I'm learning right now. So I'm excited about this. I think, uh, I think, I think Jack Ma said that before. He said that uh, it used to be the old generation, uh, when farmer or, or the, uh, the industry worker, they had to work so hard, 10 hour, 12 hour for their life, right? And then, so when the technology become better, so you become eight hour per day rather than 12 hour or 16 hour. I think in the future technology is going to be, people should have a better lifestyle and can do more things. Maybe that in the future also, maybe about five hour per day, you can, you can maximize what we do at eight hour. Just like what we eight hour can maximize what 12 hour to do. So in eight hour that millennia is going to do, it's going to do even more things. So I think that the, 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 I'm excited about the future, I really do. I think the VFG is going to be a great f platform, uh, and I, I believe that the VFG is going to evolve and evolve and evolve. So you don't plan on retiring anytime soon, I, I uh, take it. I, <laughs> you know, it's very interesting that I, when I look at people who actually change the world, like Elon Musk and um, uh, Jeff uh, Bezos and all, all these great people, and I, I, I don't think I don't have the main, I don't have the brain capacity to be able to think about the, that those great thing but i'm definitely one of the great team player can join something very big with a lot of people and i want to be part of that that's great penny thank you so much for coming we appreciate it thank you and thank you for watching i'm steve siebold with penny oil at the boney island mansion thank you thank you